other because they're all made to roll the same distance because it's the same sport ball. Um, the materials I used were five different soccer balls, each made of different material and different styles. Um, a tape measure that measured in meters. Um, a soccer ball rolling machine that I got from a friend. A turf field and I had to do it on a non-windy day so that the wind didn't affect the wool. Um, my procedure was I bought five different styles of soccer balls. I uh, then went out to a turf field that I play soccer on and I rolled the balls at 50% power just to keep it a little bit constant and it was easy to do. And then I measured the distance that each, each ball traveled and I repeated that five times. Uh, my results were that the curved rectangular panel with the uh, with circular panels on the end, which is the newest type of soccer ball uh, at the time I bought it, uh, rolled the farthest distance. Whereas the, the yellow line, the it's almost like a volleyball, um, and it rolled the least, but it, it was the oldest. So that kind of made me think a little that um, it was based off of when it was made. But the two drops, one in the blue line at uh, 16.5 and one in the purple line that went down to 12.2, were uh, the two outliers I had because they just, I guess the machine might have malfunctioned and it um, messed up. And then these are the averages. Uh, as you can see, the mid very middle one is the volleyball type ball, and that rolled only 12.9 average, whereas the uh, curved rectangular panels, which is the newest one, rolled at a 20.7 average. And all the other ones were generally in the middle. But the higher they were, actually, the lower they were. So it kind of got me thinking. Uh, some reasons my results could be flawed are that my machine could have malfunctioned at any point and gotten it a little too much power, a little too little, or might have moved around so that it wasn't going the right direction. Um, someone could have changed the power because I was there with a lot of people. And so someone might have changed the power for some reason or another. Uh, the turf could have started to come up, causing a ridge, because turf isn't everlasting. It does wear out after a while. So it will come up and cause a little ridge in the turf where the ball will jump up over and kind of stop, or might start it to roll farther. Uh, the wind might have started, which happened on one of the rolls. As soon as I rolled it, the wind started, and it was blowing against the soccer ball, so the ball, soccer ball stopped and then started rolling backwards, so I kind of had to measure where it stopped. And then the ball might have not come out of the machine right, or it might have been put in wrong. Because you have to put it in like a certain way, and if I had put it in like too far back, too far forwards, then it could have stopped, kept it from rolling far enough. Uh, my conclusion was that my hypothesis was incorrect. The uh, soccer ball style greatly affects the ability to roll, and um, the newer styles are made more aerodynamic. Off by two seconds. But the old style was not able to roll. And then just as an extra test, I tested how uh, much power need it was needed to get the older style to uh, roll to the same distance as the newer style, and you needed 83% power instead of 50. <coughs> uh, any questions? How's your uh, presentation? Yeah. I like it. But what was the machine that you used? Like, uh, I got it from. Yeah, our, we should take a picture of it. Cool. Yeah, I have it. I didn't have it right behind my room. But um, the machine I used, I borrowed from a uh, soccer trainer I knew. And I don't know where he got it. He had it. He's like, sure, I'll let you use it. I don't know. It's for goalies. Like, they, they, like it uh, pumps out balls at the it, same uh, If you put the uh, soccer ball in a rack and you set it oh, at a certain yeah, power, and it'll roll out the ball usually used for goalies. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you.